be used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Chloe seems more relaxed now that she has that money from the handicapped fund. I don't think I'll be moshing today. I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. Wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves Chloe, we'll pay it back somehow. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. I love this song. Can I check out the news on this old laptop? Oh, at least we haven't been identified yet. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. Not sure what the trouble I was such a wuss to cower in the closet while David hit her. Time to put on your daily armor, Max. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Jesus. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious and scary. Frank might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, shitstorm. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. Hella stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase, among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model.
Put some clothes on first, hillbilly. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl-on-girl -girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. I think Rachel's style is a little more subtle. Like me. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Chloe never used to care when I borrowed her toothbrush. It feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. For everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning.
Message deleted. Oops. I hope that message wasn't for Joyce or Chloe. Looks like a message. David, this is Officer Korn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-ins. What? Give me a call <sighs> soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Oh, look at the poor bird. Seems kind of freaked out. Bird, be gone. Fly, you fool. Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. I wonder how these birds died. Sitting in a swing always feels so comforting. Ooh, dead bird. Poor thing. I remember when Chloe and me would take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. I always got scared and would jump off before I flew off. And Chloe is still trying to get high. Who drinks beer this early around here? Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Oh, look at the poor bird. He seems kind of freaked out. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red.
I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Wowzer, Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Now for the mother's milk. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was... is smart. She always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Go on, grab a seat, Max. I'm almost done whipping up this amazing breakfast. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Now that's what I call pancakes. I guess nobody waters the plant here. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Seeing you again, 
Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Heed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. I bet David has all of his surveillance secrets in his laptop. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Nothing to see here. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Nothing in it. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Hmm. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Oh, 
shit balls. Magic 8-Ball says no. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Yep, locked up. I can't enter any password. Shit. Nope. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Worst hacker ever. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. <sighs> Try again. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. That's cute. Could be a password here. Such wrong. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Oh, shit balls. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Magic 8-Ball says no. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Nothing to see here. David has been dragging his head around since 2001? You totally froze the laptop. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. It might be a useful password. Four.
Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not. Now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David, paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David.